the Dear Mama documentary, right? That's about to come out. I can't wait to see it, man. I think it's going to be a dope documentary. But speaking of that, right, I came across an interview that Alan Hughes did where he was talking about the Dear Mama documentary. And he made some comments, right, that I want to get your take on, right? He said that he went with Tupac when Tupac went to go see Juice for the first time. And he said that Tupac, he changed after he seen himself play Bishop and Juice. He went to go get more tattoos and he became more darker and edgy. What you think about him saying that? <laughs> I think he also, he, 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 he do a lot of similar to Snoop, you know what I mean? Um, pretend he got love for Pac, but throw him under the, the bus, you know what I mean? You got to understand him and Pac didn't get along. They had a fight. He sued Pac, tried to put him in jail. And later on, because Pac mother... Just, you know, she just liked helping people. She was a very sweet woman. She decides to give Alan Huge and them the opportunity to do this documentary. But they didn't like Pac, you know what I mean? And Pac didn't like them, so it's probably hard that he's going to say anything um, positive about Pac. And listen, bro, just so people be clear, like, we're not saying Pac don't make mistakes. He's a human like everybody else. He's not infallible. He make mistakes, you know what I mean? We're not saying that. So we're not trying to hold Pac on this 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 level where we say nobody can speak bad about him. That's not what we're trying to say. We just trying to say, you know, you, you dealing with individuals that, you know what I mean? If I have a fight with an individual, I don't want to unless we shake hands and hug, I'm not gonna really, you know what I mean, expect him to say anything positive about me. So why is that individual doing a whole documentary on Pac? When Pac died and him, he had something against his heart with, uh, against Pac, you know what I mean? Now, as far as I say, did Pac change when he did Juice? I don't, I can't, I don't know. You know what I mean? I didn't meet Pac while he was filming Juice. You know what I mean? From the time that I met Pac, I would say 93, 94, up until he died, I seen the same type of individual. You know what I mean? I seen the same type of individual from, you know, from 93, 94 to 96 or whatever. He was the same individual that I seen, you know? He had that wild side in him. He had that calm side in him. Before he went to death row. You know what I mean? Before he went to death row, before he went to death row, and I don't know if they saying it from Juice. You know what I mean? If they saying that the movie made him do that, I don't know. You got people like Mo Prem, you got, you know, the outlaws, you got people that knew Pac all their life and said this is how he always been. Yeah, I hear you, man. And I do remember I did an interview with Money B, and he told me that Tupac, he was always acting wild, even before Juice, even before he played Bishop. So, you know. Yeah, that's it. You know, when I got, when I came around, everybody that knew him from from a youngster, they just said, this is how he always been. You know what I mean? So, but I guess, you know, people, they say what they want to say. Everybody have a right to their opinion. <laughs> Right, right. But yeah, they did give him props in the interview, too. They did say that, you know, the reason why they got Ministry Society is because of Tupac. But you did have some people that felt the type of way because they feel like, man, Tupac is the reason why y'all got the movie and y'all ended up firing the guy that got y'all the movie. Yeah, that's crazy. They fire Pac. But but you are, but we got to also keep it 100, you know what I mean? Because Pac, sometimes when it comes to that, he's difficult to deal with. So I can see, like, even <laughs> even though... He just had that in him. He was like that at death row. He was shut down and Sugar had to call him like, man, what's going on? Just because he couldn't get the studio time when he wanted, he would flip. So I kind of see from a professional level, you know what I mean? Probably why they had to fire Pac. Because <laughs> you got to understand, like, you know, when you look at Kane, you know what I mean? The dude from Minnesota Society, Kane, he, he said Pac was being disrupted a lot. So I kind of see maybe that probably was a reason. He probably was like, man, we got to let this dude go. Because Pac had it in him, man. He he would just flip and just, you know what I mean? And do what he got to do. He, he had them tantrums and he would do that at death row.